Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can possibly boost or increase our internet speed with OpenDNS. Now, OpenDNS has been around for a long time. It's it's pretty secure and it's super fast. And you can also use Google uh, Public DNS as well, which actually can speed up your internet quite considerably compared to your uh, your ISP's DNS. Now, I know Virgin Media DNS is pretty bad. And uh, I sometimes have issues with the DNS and also have to keep changing it. So now I don't use it at all and I use my own DNS, which I prefer to do, which gives me a lot more better uh, speed and also much more stability when I'm surfing the web. So let's take a look at how we can go about doing this. I can't remember who uh, asked me for this video. It was about a week or so ago in the comments. And uh, we're going to take a look at how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easier to do. Down the bottom right hand side here, you'll have your little uh, network icon. Right click on this and open up your network and internet settings here. Inside here, you'll see two options, uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet. If you don't see the Wi-Fi, don't worry. It just means you don't have Wi-Fi um, installed on that computer and it's not running. So if it's a desktop computer, you probably won't see this, uh, but that's OK. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll show you how to go about changing both of these just in case you're on a laptop. So first off, we're going to start with Ethernet. Um, come over to the right hand side here and you'll see change adapter options. Click on this one and you'll then see Ethernet and Wi-Fi. On the Ethernet one here, you can just double click it or you can right click and go properties. Depends on what you want to do. OK, they're both going to do the same thing. So once you're inside your Ethernet properties, you're going to see two areas which are going to be important. Internet Protocol version 4 and also Internet Protocol version 6. So we'll do version 4 first. I'm going to go to the Properties tab here, open this up and then go down to Open DNS Server and, and Addresses automatically and change this to use the following DNS server address. Now we can put in our DNS server which we want to put in which is Open DNS and they use an uh, IP address. So you may want to write these down and keep them close just in case you want to use your normal ISP's uh, DNS server. And then when they go down, you can change them. And it's a pretty good way of getting back up on the internet while their uh, DNS servers have gone offline. And that happens quite a lot with Virgin Media, to be honest. And uh, we're going to go 220 here. So slightly different numbers, as you can see on the alternative uh, section here like so click OK and I'll just shut that window off sorry about that now what we want to do next here is go to internet protocol version 6 and then we need to go over to where it says properties and this is going to allow us to again obtain our own following DNS server addresses from uh, OpenDNS and now these ones are slightly different so we want to do two six 20 colon 0 colon you need to make sure you get these exactly right otherwise they won't work and uh, we're going to be doing ccc colon colon so there's two lots of colons there and a two and that's what you need to put in there okay now you can do if you want to save time you can copy this and then just edit the last part here so on the last part we need to change this, okay, this C here to a D. It's exactly the same apart from that uh, C and that D there, okay, so one's C and one's D, like so. Click OK, and then click Close. That is your Ethernet done for OpenDNS. And uh, down here also Wi-Fi, uh, you can change this as well. I'm going to right-click and go Properties on the here. And again, we need to change both of these. Now, I'll do this one as uh, Google, so you can see the both of them, okay? So this is going to be Google Public DNS. So I'm going to go to Internet Protocol version 4 for Google DNS properties. Use the following DNS server addresses. I'm going to do 8, 8. This one's nice and easy to remember. And on the bottom, we need to just do 4 and 4. Very nice and easy. We'll do the uh, protocol version 6 here, properties, and uh, this one is going to be slightly different. So we're going to go down here. It's 2001, colon, 
4860 and in colon 4860 and in colon colon and then 8888 now again you can do the same thing what we did before you can copy this one and paste it down the bottom and just change uh, the end part because that's all you need to do so the last one is the last two digits on this one and you're good to go and that is how you can change your DNS server to increase or boost your speed for uh, from open DNS and also Google uh, DNS as well very secure very fast DNS servers probably uh, sometimes faster than your ISP ones that you're using okay anyway I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys thanks for continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos